يا حسن تطلع ليك شلر يوهانس يا ماكن وش ارين وقف ليه tell me dog Am I looking into soft bait white? The likeness is close. Your hand. So, you see it too. The extraordinary resemblance between us. Your Highness father's a poor machinery salesman. And uh, speaking of machinery, let me show you. Never mind the machinery. This is the most amazing thing I ever saw. ends of the earth should be so alike, feature for feature. Quite so, Your Highness. Now, this machine I was telling you about, I'll buy the machine. Mr. Grant will be my guest. Let refreshments be served at once. Come, my friend. I want you to meet Harris, a famous animal hunter. That tower looking bird back there with the Roger. Why, uh, that's his cousin, Prince Decker. It is a week since I've been trying to get near you. You give all your time to that foreigner, Grant. He's a very wise man. I am learning much that will benefit my people. <laughs> No one must know that this has happened. Least of all, my cousin, Decker. Give me a leaf from your notebook while I have strength to write. You must lose no time in bringing this to my brother in Crabola. And you my friend, for the next 48 hours, you must be the Raja of Rampur. Uh, the Raja of Rampur? Mm -hmm. There is no other way. Should any hint of my death leak out before my brother arrives, my cousin Dacker would seize the throne. Got to go through with it now. Do you think you can get away with this Raja stuff? I'll try it for his sake. No time to lose. There's a bowl of bush right outside the tent. Get me some of the berries so I can stain my face and help me change clothes with the Raja. To my elephant. 
certainly looks as though you can get away with this Roger stuff. I've got to until his brother arrives. Why should his brother arrive? All we've got to do is to tear this up and we're in soft for the rest of our life. None of that, Harris. We're playing this game straight. Don't be a fool. You can have an entire kingdom at your feet. You heard what I said? I'm playing this straight. Oh, forget it. I was only kidding. As soon as we reach the palace, I'll start for Kabola. Back from Kabola so soon? Did you bring the new Raja? He's outside. His Excellency, the Raja of Radford. destroyed the Rajah's letter, huh? Oh, no, Grant. That letter was far too valuable to be destroyed. I knew where I could sell it for a good round sum. Am I right, Your Excellency? To be paid after I'm safely on the throne. And to make sure that there would be no slip-up, I had Jacker sign our little agreement on the back of the Rajah's letter. And you think you can get away with this? You realize I've already called the guard from the throne room? Not so fast with your friend. You have much to learn about intrigue, my friend. Try and call the guard. And you will find they are not yours, but mine. Your Highness, your brother's arriving from Tobola with a company of lancers. <laughs> you all. Soldiers are with him, spreading through the city, stopping every approach to the palace. So much the better. They're here to prevent bloodshed. And the throne will be saved to its rightful heir. Instead of a kingdom, you will inherit a prison cell. They will never enter the palace. My men will prevent it. brother is dead. Struck down by this imposter who tried to take the throne for himself. And he would have succeeded and we discovered the fraud and sent word to you. You killed my brother? Now, this is no time for private tense. You take this up with the proper authority. Come on. A 
I did not get the throne. But we escaped the penalty rather neatly, Prince Hat. Huh? You're not entirely out of this mess yet, my friend. You still have to buy this. But I thought that our agreement was that I have us not to pay until I obtain the throne. This is more valuable to you now than ever. You keep it out of the new Roger's hands. Blackmail, eh? Call it what you like, but the fact still remains. You too, my friend Harris, have much to learn about intrigue. Take a look at the back of that letter. Disappearing ink. There's a way to bring this writing back. And I'll find it. When you do, look me up. fugitive, an offender against the law. There is no one here except those who belong here. These soldiers, if they so desire, have permission to search. Take these men around the camp. Faites la recherche complète. Who is this fugitive you seek? Oh, just another escape prisoner. And if we do not get him, bien sûr, nous y déserts will. He's not in the camp, mon capitaine. We are indebted, monsieur, for your courtesy. You will need a friend where you are going. Show this ring to Masaba, who keeps the inn of the fence in La Benga. Command him in my name. The soldiers have taken the road to the north. If you'll take the trail to the east, you'll be safe. Except while that. In disguise, Mr. Robert Grant, and you probably would have gotten away with it if you had been sure that we had gone before you talked so much. I hear you say you were going to Lovenga? Yes. Well, what is stopping you? Mean? I mean, when I think of how it would feel to be in the belly of the lion, why should I care what they want you for? But, uh, won't you get into trouble for this? Why, they probably will make me a colonel when they hear I kill the lion single-handed. Au revoir. Mais bonne chance. So long, pal. I'll be seeing you.
Admiral General? I just got in with some cats for the Calcutta boat. Is she in yet? No, but she's due any time now. Change of clothing, a little food, and later perhaps, a real service. My house and all that I have is yours. Sorry, I must run along, Harry. Nasty case of illicit diamond mining, all with Kuman digging. We are having a lot of trouble lately. You finish your drink, and I'll look you up at the hotel when I get back. Okay, Wainwright. Pardon me, but is this the place where you report a diamond discovery? Diamond? Oh, yes, yes. Did you find some? Acres of them. Take a look at these. Where did you get these? Most amazing thing you ever saw the way I found them. Why, I was riding along and... Oh, I say, Wainwright, there's a devil to pay. Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought you were the agent. I'm sorry. Aren't you the agent? You're a mistake, old chap. It never occurred to me that you thought I was the agent. However, I'll give him your information if you like. Oh, no, thanks. I'll see him myself. When will he be back? Tomorrow. You won't tell anybody about this? No. Sorry to about it. I'll see the agent tomorrow. In what way can I help you seek your vengeance? For surely it is vengeance that you seek. Let us call it justice. For my imprisonment was unjust. I have come a long way to find a certain man. Is he here in Lobenga? Yes. Ah, then I can help you. For I know every man here. You were saying? Later. Ah, uh, Harris, my friend. Greeting. Oh, my young cousin from Tangier. A willing worker if you need one. How do you do? I might be able to use you on one of my animal hunts. Look me up at the Continental Hotel sometime. Be seated, my friend. Why? I just got wind of something that's going to make us rich, tremendously rich. But we've got to work fast, Mustafa. Yes? Diamonds. The biggest you ever saw. Oh, oh, oh no, my friend. The government is too watchful for me to risk my liberty for a few paltry diamonds. Who said a few paltry diamonds? I mean a field for them. A field of diamonds? Where? That's what we've got to find out. My master, Mr. Harris, desires his key, please. Clearly a case for a woman. Women? Ah, uh, I don't trust them. They sell you out. I know one who won't. She is too deeply indebted to me. Come, you see for yourself. Hello, Muriel. Hello. I want you to know my brother, Tom Armitage. How do you do? Happy to meet you. Is Mrs. LaSalle in her room? I'll see. Uh, no, she isn't. She might be in the lobby. Stop it. You see that young fellow standing over there beside that pretty woman? 
He's the one who had the secret. So, you see that pretty woman standing beside the young man? She's the one who can get the secret. Get her up to my room where we can talk. Come on, let's go and change. I'll be along pretty soon. All right. Goodbye. Are you staying here long? I'll be here the rest of the season. Your sister tells me that you have a plantation near here. Why, yes. Uh, we'd like to have you come and see us. I should love to. Do you mind? Oh, no. Go ahead. My key, please. Why, I gave it to your manservant, Mr. Harris. My man? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Must be something up. I have no manservant. I'm sorry. But I'll have to run along now. Well, perhaps I can see you after dinner. Perhaps. Stop, you fool. Not so much noise. I beg your pardon. We were chasing a thief, and I thought he ran in here. There's no one here. Will you please leave my room? I'm sorry. I apologize. Please. I am not a thief. Do not call them back. Why are you hiding in my bedroom? I can't explain. I can only trust to your woman's instinct not to believe what's to accuse me of. Please, I'm not an Arab. I don't believe you. I'm an American, playing a more dangerous game than I can possibly explain. To turn me over to the police now would ruin everything. The fate of too many people depend upon my remaining free and unknown. Muriel, may I come in? Go, oh, go oh. quickly. You must be found in here, I tell you. No, I... I think perhaps that way. Look out. Here I come. Just a moment till I put something on. Enter me, Lord. Sorry to disturb you, sis, but I don't like the idea of that fellow knowing I've got these diamonds. They'll be safer in your room than mine. like Mrs. LaSalle pretty well. Yes, she is quite attractive. There. I feel quite a lot easier now. <laughs> Just leave it to me. Before the night is over, the secret will be yours. Soon we know where the diamond comes from. Come in. I thought you Ben want to meet me down by the dock. Oh, hello, Peterson. Get the ship in. My new tank, I walk here from Count Quetta. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just came by the compound, and I seen them mangy lines of yours. Well, you needn't think you're going to get them any cheaper by calling them mangy. <laughs> Don't forget you've been dealing with a Scotchman. <sighs> well, you've been going to snake business, eh? <laughs> you must have gorillas in there. They go crazy every time they hear snakes hiss. Look out. Down in there, you never come out. Down, Jimmy. Down. What, what, what is it? A, a gorilla or a human being? Neither. What do you take for him, eh? He's not for sale. Name your own price. This time I don't bargain with you. 
Just let me take that car to New York and I... He's not for sale. He would be a menace to civilization. I'm the only one that can control him. Come on, let's get down to business about these other animals. You've got to get them on board ship soon if you expect to sail tonight. Aren't you rather rushing, Mrs. LaSalle? After all, we don't know her very well. Oh, don't be catty, Sid. Here you are. Isn't this rather smoky? I know a delightful place where we could be alone. Do you? Let's go. I thought you said we were coming to your room. This is my room. Oh, I see. My hunting bags and kits. They do look a bit masculine, don't they? Quite masculine. I think I've made a mistake. Stop. You're not going to leave this room. Get away from that door. You haven't got the nerve to shoot. There was no use to run, lady. Why, you dare not accuse me. Nobody would take your word against mine. It is not I that will accuse you. It is the mark of your fingers on the gun. Kill him, you have spoiled everything. Is he dead? Yes. It was an accident. I I'm afraid the law will not believe that. Your only safety lies in flight. Flight? Oh, but where can I go? You must leave the city at once. The further you go, the better. Now, there is a boat that leaves tonight. If you hurry, you can get on board before she sails. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> 